here we are in this digital space, totally inspired by you and all the things that you love. Jackie, I've been such a big fan of yours for such a long time. Tell me a bit about how you got started in social media. So, rewind back to 2009. <laughs> As it pertains to like beauty, I would go to like a makeup counter or go makeup shopping. And I always felt rejected, always felt othered. So I got so frustrated that eventually I was like, you know what, not only am I gonna like not listen to them, but I'm gonna show other people how I'm making it work with my skin tone too. How did you go from creating content, creating videos to a product? You just, you know, have a, a, a brand called Forever Mood. It's, yeah. it's huge on Instagram, Instagram shopping. So Forever Mood was, not only a bit of a love letter to me and my relationship with my mom, that's how we bond, was through fragrance ever since childhood, but it's been doing amazing and we've actually been getting a lot of support. Jackie, this space is pretty magical and I know it kind of reflects the stuff you love. Like, tell me a bit about what you love and why this represents you. Okay, so first thing, color is everything. I love pastels. You can see it in the brand. You can see it like a lot of times in what I wear. With the metaverse, when we're curating collections or even just brainstorming, this would be a great way to like gather us all together and literally kind of create atmospheres and environments and moods to just kind of enhance creativity. And then if I can invite people, it would be like inviting them in my home. You know what I mean? It'd be like bringing them into a piece of me. So I would want them to feel some of the things that I feel when I step into my house or when I light my candles. Interacting with people in comments and having a conversation is a way to kind of get your fan excited about interacting with you, but also yeah. you feel like you get a, a I connection get excited to your community. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And so this idea of reaching kind of into the comment section and pulling a fan in and having a conversation I love is that. pretty powerful. And, yeah. and it, it humanizes that person on the other end you know, of that of that comment. And I think there's there's a really interesting opportunity to think about how we build community and how we engage mm -hmm. with our fans in a really deep way as opposed to just through a comment box. Imagine for your biggest fans, you could have an exclusive launch party where anyone could visit no matter where they were in the world. I love that because when we first launched the brand, Everything was shut down, because obviously quarantine, couldn't go anywhere. And I had this idea of doing like pop-ups for Forever Mood, where we would have a room inspired by each scent. And now, anyone from anywhere in the world could come and feel what you just described. Have that feeling, have that sense, really get into that mood. Also, you have your greatest fans, the people that care a lot about you, the ability to reach new customers, use advertising to keep growing your business. Mm. You could also like, drop an exclusive product in the metaverse, where only available to your, your most ardent fans who paid special access to get to that product. That's dope. Commerce is going to be a big part of the metaverse. You'll be able to sell both digital and physical products. The butterfly effect transports us someplace magical. So beautiful. It's so Jackie, as we walk through this amazing world, what does the metaverse mean to you? I just feel like this is like endless possibilities with my imagination. I can't even begin to imagine how meaningful the metaverse will be thanks to creators like you.